this is Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. I do have another one of my Black Friday unboxings, but I've got some other things to share about a very special artist to me. Um, I knew when I unboxed her first, well, my first painting of hers, Spirits, that Dakota Dateweiler was just a very, very special artist. And I've got two of her paintings to unbox. One I got long before Black Friday, and one I got on Black Friday. These two right now are not available. They were not limited edition, so they will be coming back. I promise, guys, I do have another Dakota Dateweiler that is actually available right now, but you gotta get her stuff quick because it goes, and there's gonna be another one this weekend, and I'm telling you it's gonna go. I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. But what I wanted to do is I'm gonna unbox these two because they are a set, they are a pair. Um, and again, I'll explain why they're a pair later. I'm gonna hang these two together. One is obviously a little bit bigger than the others, but I wanna call your attention to kind of how I learned that these were a set. Dakota Dateweiler does have an Etsy shop. If you are a Dakota Dateweiler fan like I am, I encourage you to go to her Etsy shop. I will put her link below so you can get to it on Etsy. Um, she has all kinds of things, obviously spotlighting her art. She has prints. Uh, she has this beautiful coffee table book. I've shown this before, but I wanted to share some things in the book that will relate to these paintings I'm unboxing. And she has ornaments. And these things, guys, they are very reasonably reasonably priced and again they spotlight her work the first thing I want to show you is this darling this is one of her images I believe the title of this one is the breakfast club I really hope they make this into a diamond painting because I love it it's these beautiful little calves they're so cute and when you order this ornament she signs the back so this one actually what I, I got this off of my Christmas tree to show you so you get the ornament and she signs it on the back and again very reasonably priced um, <clears throat> go over and check out her shop. Um, she's got a lot of great stuff. So that's one thing that you can get. Another thing that you can get that I've gotten, I've gotten several prints from her as well, but this coffee table book. What I love about this coffee table book, first and foremost, obviously it spotlights her amazing artwork. I mean, she's just a very special artist. Uh, I like it. I like her because her artwork is different. It's very realistic. I just, um, it evokes a lot of emotions for me. But anyway, she, um, she also signs uh, the coffee table book with my invoice and look at her business card. I just think that is super cute. Um, and let's see, does she have the, well, it's www.paintingsbydakota.com. So um, again, I'll link her Etsy shop uh, below. But I got this coffee table book and it does spotlight some of her work. Here is Eden, my unicorn that I finally got. Look at this Christmas painting that she did. I hope, DAC, if you're listening, please turn this into a diamond painting for us next Christmas. I love this with the elves and the marshmallows and all that. Um, and, you know, again, it just takes you through. I'm not going to go through page by page. Um, okay, so this is another one. This is her mermaids set. Guess what's coming out this Saturday? I am very unsafe. Unsafe as far as DAC. Uh, they have put this out already uh, on the DAC Facebook page. This particular mermaid, this one right here at the bottom, is what is coming out. The bottom left is Dakota's version of Ariel. And isn't, I mean, it's just beautiful. Um, it is titled uh, something else. You can look the, that up on the DAC website. But this particular diamond painting by Dakota Dateweiler this Saturday is coming out. And based on how gorgeous it is, and the rendering is perfection. I love how it's rendered. Um, I know there are going to be some ABs in the highlights in her hair. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but again, this Saturday it's coming out. I hate to even tell people because I want it so bad. I'm going to be uh, grabbing for that one. So it just spotlights here is uh, Angel of Justice. I mean, she's just got so many different uh, pieces of art in here. But... As you get to the end, here's her Krakens, the famous Kraken, what lies beneath, and all kinds of things. But when you get to the last page of this book, and these are the two paintings that I'm going to unbox for you. The first one is Hazel's World, and that one was released way before Black Friday. I got it, but it sold out. 
In addition, I'm going to unbox self-portrait. Self-portrait I did get on the Black Friday release. But read, I'm gonna read you what she writes. Hazel's World, uh, I guess she did this one in 2019. It's an acrylic painting. It says the left, and this is Hazel's World, is the fantasy version of everything on the right. It is meant to depict a child's imagination while reading. Well, being an educator, I mean, you know, reading takes you places and you have this sweet little Hazel. Um, I think this is meant to depict Dakota as a small child reading and dreaming, and you can see all kinds of things going on in this library. You'll get to see this a little bit better when I unbox the painting because it is bigger, but it's an adorable painting. Then on the right, you get the self-portrait. This is Dakota. This is very, I mean, it looks very much like she looks. Um, self-portrait, I believe she created this in 2018. It is also an acrylic painting, the original. Um, she says, this one is self-explanatory. Never stop dreaming, Dakota. And so this is her as an adult. She's still reading. And as you can see, she's still dreaming. So I'm pairing these together because again, they're a set. This is her little, this is her as an adult and they just make a beautiful pairing. Um, I'm going to, again, hang these together when I get them done. Uh, but I just wanted you guys to know that um, in case that you know you didn't know. But stop by her Etsy shop. I know her diamond paintings right now and probably forever will be hard to come by, but she does have some great stuff in her Etsy shop for you to grab uh, for any, um, any Dakota Dateweiler lover. Also, um, she will, in her description of all of her items, she will tell you whether her items are signed or not. Um, I know the coffee table books, you can get you know the, the signature as well as the Christmas ornament. So that is my little explanation of that. So let me, and like I did last night on my video, I'm going to be unboxing these and not taking 12 hours with them. I just wanna show you the canvases and how well they pair together. As you can see, I don't even have them out of the plastic. How is everybody doing tonight? We went golfing this afternoon. It was so fun. Marlon golfed, I ate, <laughs> and watched him golf. I was, I was his cheerleader. All right, the first one I'm going to unbox is Hazel's World. It has been unboxed and sneak peeked before. Uh, Self-Portrait, the second one, uh, was not sneak peeked, so you'll get a first glance at that if you haven't already received it, if you ordered it for Black Friday. You have your toolkit, and this is a big one. Um, both of these actually are square diamond paintings. As you can see from the blue square and the blue striping, it is a square kit. Here is the, um, let's see, it is horizontal, so it's got, there's the little thumbnail of it. It is an 87 by 65, so it's big, but not, not like Magic Potions was last night, I'm telling you right now, but um, when you have this much detail, you gotta go big. So it is square and it is large, so it can show the detail. This is Hazel's World, I love it. You do get your logbook sticker with the image, the title, the artist, the diamond shape, which is square, and the dimensions, 87 by 65. Here is your toolkit. Just gonna take a peek in here real quick. I'm not gonna belabor anybody, but I just wanna see, cause you get different washi tape and you get different cover minders. Okay, ooh, this looks kind of mermaidy. It looks like mermaid scales and it's gold and glittery. Sorry, yes, good. You get a good bit of it. What is my cover minder? You get different cover minders in here too. Oh, all right. Well, again, as I'm throwing things all over the place, that is the stopper for the tray. Um, I got a dolphin, and I got a dolphin with glitter. Good, yay. I'm getting directed by the cameraman so you guys can see everything, but that's my cute cover minder. I will put all this back in. Um, you get different washi tape and cover minders, a four and a seven place, so if you're gonna multi-place, I'll let you know how confetti versus color blocking is on this one. So let's get into Hazel's world. As you know, these diamond paintings do come in a dust bag. Um, I am changing how I'm storing all of my diamond paintings. So um, these are getting rolled back up, putting put back into boxes. And we have storage containers all over this house. Uh, poor Marlon has really been working hard to get me organized and get stuff out of my craft room so that I can um, organize my diamond paintings. And I will be inventorying them, putting them in containers. And we have a climate controlled storage that I can store my diamond paintings at um, before I'm ready to do them. So these are poured blue canvases. They are tarpaulin and you can roll them back so they self-flatten. 
Again, this is a little bit bigger one because of the detail. All right, I roll it back and I zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. This one has 60 colors. It has four, no, five, I can't count. Five AB drills, five. One, two, three, four, five are the symbols. Ah, oh, awesome. Um, sticker sheet with individually perforated uh, labels to put on containers. This whole thing is a sticker, so if you wanna take this image and stick it somewhere else, you certainly can. It has all the information. Um, a, a thank you uh, brochure with information about diamond painting. Here are your drills. I will be pulling them out and showing you the ABs. Oh, look at those pretty blues. All right, let me get this on the table. I do not wanna take 12 hours. You know how I do. Okay, oh my goodness. I'm gonna put this down so we have more room. This does fit on my table, yay! All right, I present Hazel's World. This has been unboxed on YouTube, but I just wanted to share it with you because again, it does pair with self-portrait so well. I love this. Oh, I love the little girl. Look at her little feet underneath her book. She's got her little toes turned in. Ah, oh, and you know, she's reading and she's dreaming and there are all these things that are, you know, escaping in her brain as she's reading her books. You have a little gnome down here, a little elf sticking out. You've got a bear under her chair that she's reading in. You have this tree. Um, this tree kind of reminds me of another one um, that I'm going to show you that is available right now on DAC and that is Phoenix Rising. Uh, I did get that one as well that I will share with you on another day, but you've got the giraffes, you've got the books, you have the, the uh, planets spinning around, and you have the beginnings of her dreamings about the big krakens, the big sea monsters that she, or sea creatures, like monsters, creatures, whatever you want to call them, um, that, that Dakota does a lot of um, in her works, and you know she's in her library. I just love it. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Let me share with you kind of where these drills go. Um, there's some fives in the rabbit's ears. There's a heart on this bear's head. You can see uh, that's fives. There's some fives in the tops of these rabbits. Um, where these swirls are, there's fives. The, the fives, I'm sorry, are gonna be 141. It's that white AB that's so popular with DAC. Um, are there ones? Nope, there's not ones on the inside of this planet. I don't see any, are there any in the sky? Now there are threes. Okay, so threes are another AB and all these specks right here. Well, I'm sorry, let me let me cut this in half here. Threes are all over here where you see these, these specks in the sky, that's all gonna be ABs. Now we switch to fives over here with all the specks in the skies and that's gonna be that 141. Three is gonna be more of a khaki color or a, a not a khaki color, a cream color. Um, let's see, where else are we gonna have some A, Bs? Oh, lots of fives uh, swirling around this, uh, this Kraken uh, tentacle right here, more fives here, fives. And all, and all the white highlight areas, you're gonna have fives, which are gonna be fantastic. One is that red. One is gonna be kind of the top of this chair. There's some one in the astronaut, a little in the balloon, and the books over here. Uh, some ones in this planet, which is gonna be red. That's gonna be gorgeous. Four is that yellow. Let's see, I'm trying to get through this quickly so we won't be here for 12 hours. Where is four? Four, four, four. Again, four looks to be yellow. There are threes, uh, which again are the cream colored in the bookshelves but I'm looking for that four. I've seen one, two, three, and five. Where is four? Again, it's gonna, okay, so four is gonna be in the little squares in the chair. That's where your fours are gonna be. Um, there are fives in the Kraken's uh, tentacle, if I haven't said that. Don't see any more, but this again would be another one that would be a great opportunity to, if you wanna replace on some, to spotlight certain areas, you certainly can. So again, this is Hazel's World. I'm gonna pull these out just to show you the ABs really quickly. You can see from the bag of drills, I'll show you the color palette here. I mean, it's just beautiful. You're gonna get a ton of gorgeous blues. All right, let me open this up so you can kind of start seeing the color palette. 
This is beautiful. I'm looking for ABs right now, and as I'm looking, I'll show you these colors. I know it's kind of hard to see. Uh, okay, I found, uh, found my first AB. It's this purple, 126, which is gonna be the number two. Uh, Kara, what is an AB drill? You keep saying AB. What is AB? AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on these drills that uh, captures facets of light and color from the environment around it and the drills around it and just makes them all together now shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer just a little bit more. All right, there's your first AB. I'm looking. Here is your second AB. Not a lot of this yellow. This yellow is 130. Um, here is your next AB. Not a lot of it, but it's certainly going to highlight um, the areas that I showed you in the chair. Um, so that's going to be awesome. Put that there. I see another AB right here. It is a lighter yellow. It is 129. So there's that, that particular uh, AB. Here is another AB, 107. They're popping out everywhere, guys. 107 is the red. It is absolutely beautiful with that coating on it. Um, let me make sure there aren't any more in this train. I don't see. And as I'm looking, you can be checking out the colors. I don't see any more. Okay. Let me look through here real quick. I think we have, if I've not counted incorrectly. All right, we got two. Two big old bags of 141. This is a beautiful AB because it is white, so it really reflects and captures light and color. Love that one. I think I've gone through all of the ABs, but while we're here, we'll twist and turn a little bit, and I'll show you these gorgeous colors. Look at these blues. Oh, my goodness. 995 is killing me. Ooh. Ooh. Some 310. We knew we were going to have some 310 in here. Then the last train to Georgia, of course, it is upside down per Kara. And again, you know you're going to have a ton of these beautiful blues, 803, 336. Here's some more of those colors. Some mint greens. Look at this deep purple, 158. You got two bags of it. Oh, I love that purple. And again, it's going to be a square, so it's going to really capture that detail. Some grays here. 550, another purple, and then we end with 762, another uh, light, light gray. So those are your color palette for Hazel's World. I'm going to try to keep myself a little bit organized. So this is together. I'm going to set this on the chair right here. Okay. So that is Hazel's World, guys. I will pull this back up momentarily, but let's unbox Self Portrait. And this is a Black Friday purchase of mine. Oh. I have been waiting on this Black Friday purchase, and one of the reasons why I've been waiting on it is for this one right here. Um, this was not sneak peek. Some of them were sneak peeks, some of them weren't. This is one of the ones that was not sneak peek. Again, both of these are not available right now, but they're not limited edition. Doesn't look to be. Um, some changes are being made on the DAC side on what is, but um, make sure that you click the button underneath this painting if you want it to get notified when it does come back in stock. This is self-portrait. It is the uh, acrylic painting that I showed you in the coffee table book uh, that Dakota has on her Etsy shop. Um, it's beautiful. This is her as an adult reading and dreaming. That's why it, uh, it, it goes very well. Again, this is a square kit. So both of these are square kits. The dimensions on this one is 55.8 uh, by 83.7 centimeter. So, um, little bit different in sizing, but they're going to look beautiful together on a wall. And this is making me work out to get everything out of the box. All right. Everything is out of the box. You have your um, logbook sticker that you can stick wherever you'd like. Your tool kit. Let's see. I just like to see what washi tape and cover minder I get in these. They're so fun. Okay. I got a cute little bear cover minder with a pineapple. He's so cute. This would go really well with Hazel's world, actually. All right, so that goes back in, and I got a really pretty um, turquoise pen. Uh, the pen colors will change from kit to kit. Tweezers, you're gonna get tweezers and square kits. Your tray, your wax, your squishy, and baggies to store your drills, and the washi tape. 
this looks kind of Valentine's-y to me, but oh, maybe not, maybe not. But it's just a watercolor um, washi tape um, that you can use for a variety of things. So that is your toolkit on self-portrait. Let's get this out of the plastic. Oh, I love unboxing new stuff. And like I said, this one was not sneak peek, so I could not wait to get it in my hot little hands and see what this was all about. Okay, you guys ready? I am ready. I have not seen this. You know, again, it was not. Okay, this one's going to be vertical where Hazel's world was more horizontal. All right, and you can roll it back. It's poured glue and zhuzh, zhuzh information sheet. And thank you with all of your tips and tricks to diamond painting. Here is your sticker sheet. It does have the title. Everything's a sticker. Peel the labels off if you want. Count ABs. We've got four ABs in this one. 100, 105, 131, and 141. If the DMC number in the third column of these stickers is less than 150, it is an AB or Aurora Borealis drill. So um, this will be symbols one, two, three, and four, and we'll look for those. We got, again, 100, 105, 131, and 141. Uh, and you've got a nice big picture if you wanna use this as a sticker somewhere too. Here are your drills. I will pull those out in just a second and show those to you, but here is oh my gosh i love it <gasps> self portrait okay i'm just gonna hold it up it's long so it is vertical look at this they even got the rendering is spectacular on this they even got down to the tattoo on her arm i love this i love it love it love it oh my goodness this is beautiful. And you know, her artwork does, you know, have a lot of butterflies in it in some things. Here is her kraken and her sea life, which she loves uh, to draw. Uh, it shows her uh, reading a book. Um, this looks just like her. If you've seen pictures, she does have um, a Facebook uh, profile that you can look and she takes pictures and oh my gosh, she's got commissioned work. She's commissioned work for Guy Fieri. For those of you that are Food Network um, fans, we love Guy Fieri. He does diners, drive-ins, and dives. She's done artwork for him. Um, again, I knew this artist was special when I unboxed her for the first time. Um, just, I love her work and I'm crossing my fingers, I get that mermaid. I know it's gonna go so fast, y'all. Set an alarm. I don't know which creator was lucky enough to get that one as a sneak peek, but I'm gonna be so jealous of whoever it is. It's not me. So, um, yeah, that one, the, the mermaid is gonna be absolutely stunning. And if you wanna see that one again, go to uh, the uh, Diamond Art Club uh, VIP face, actually the Diamond Art Club page on Facebook. They've got it up and are showing that one. So. This is self-portrait, and again, you pair it, and you can see why with Hazel's World. Sorry, we're gonna have to really <laughs> pan out. These are going to look fantastic together, again, just because of the theme of the paintings and just how beautiful they are, and you've got the child, and then you've got the artist as an adult. And what's interesting is I didn't notice down here on self-portrait, You've got just a little, little, almost a profile. And this is one of, I, I, I recognize this. This is one of her mermaid paintings. So she really worked to get a lot of elements of her beautiful artwork into this. And the original, again, was an acrylic. So um, unbelievable. She's got some gears going. You got a little bit of steampunk and all that. So, oh, I love this. Okay. I'm just going to see where these AB, ABs go. I'm curious. Again, the symbols are one, two, three, and four on this canvas. I see a lot of fours in the white areas. All of the white areas on this canvas have fours in it in the ship, in the gears here. This looks to be either, I'm, it, it's not a clock. Um, gosh, maybe a sundial possibly, but um, that's where your fours, your 141s are going. There are some fours that are going through her book that she's reading, um, highlighting kind of, looks like some little magic is coming out of this book. There are fours highlighting there. Um, one 
is going to be like a, a light greenish color, looks to be, and I'm looking for ones. Okay, there's some ones over here. I see ones over here. Let's see where else. There's some ones up here in the sky. There's some ones in this ship right here and at the top of the ship. Um, doesn't appear to be a lot of them. Um, two, let's see, are there any twos? I'm just looking, just making sure that I'm being thorough with this. Let's see, twos over here, a few twos over here. They appear to be sprinkled throughout. I will tell you this, three, which is that beautiful orangish yellow, are gonna be all in these butterflies. It's highlighting all of these butterflies. So that is gonna be beautiful. Also, if you take a gander right down the center of this painting right here, all of the yellowish speckles going all down the center, that's all three. That is going to be beautiful. I'm sorry, two, I'm lying to you, wait a minute. Threes, twos, are there twos and threes? Nope, just threes, sorry, I thought I saw some twos in there. All threes, all down this center area through the clouds. Also, there are threes speckled in the sky. All the speckles up here are threes. That is gonna be beautiful. All right, there's a balloon up at the top. Uh, there's some fours in the balloon. Uh, the string for the balloon is all four. Um, what am I forgetting? I don't, um, I'm looking to see if I see any more. Lots of fours, which is that 141 speckled throughout uh, this painting, wherever you see white speckles. That is gonna be stunning. Both of them together are going to be absolutely beautiful, guys. All right, that is what I've got for you tonight. Wanted you to see these two side by side. Go check out Dakota's Etsy shop. She's got lots of great stuff. If you're, you know, if you've been waiting on a painting from her and have not been able to get it, um, go to her Etsy shop. And if you have a Dakota Dateweiler lover in your life or someone that loves the art depicted uh, in her diamond paintings and, and you know, her, her original paintings, um, go check them out. Go check her out. She will autograph stuff. She's got it all listed on that Etsy on that Etsy site. So I am super excited to have both of these in my collection and will be pairing them. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you tonight. It has been uh, a share of the Dakota love night and I will be sharing more Dakota love as we go along and I will be unboxing another one of her diamond paintings that I did get. Uh, that is Phoenix Rising, and that one is still available, I do believe. And this Saturday, that mermaid's coming out. Oh, my gosh. Where are we going to store them all, Marlon? I don't know. All right. I will leave you with this, guys. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off. <laughs>